Hi, in today's video I'm going to describe two work-related photos. If you'd like to watch more videos where I describe different images, I suggest you watch this playlist here. The photograph depicts two people, a man and a woman. They are in the middle of the photo and they are standing in what seems to be a fast food restaurant. In front of them, on the counter, there are some dishes that are usually served in a fast food restaurant, namely burgers and chips. In the photo, I can see some restaurant equipment. Scales in the bottom left corner, a coffee machine on the left and a refrigerated display case on the right. Next to the display case, there is some plastic cutlery. Behind the people, there are worktops. On the worktops, I can see some orange containers and a juicer. On the wall behind the people, there are some wooden crates that are being used as shelves. The people in the photograph are quite young. They're wearing matching outfits, pink, long-sleeved t-shirts and grey aprons. They both look happy. They are smiling and looking at the camera. They might be good friends. I believe they own this tiny restaurant, so they are self-employed and I suppose they are very proud of themselves, uh, and rightfully so. I think many people would agree that being your own boss is something one can be proud of. Since their aprons are in impeccable condition, I believe they've just opened the restaurant. It might be their first day there. So I think they are about to learn that running a restaurant is a full-time job that requires incredible dedication, especially at the beginning when the income is rather low. I presume that apart from preparing the dishes, they also have to serve their guests. And that means they need great communication skills and they have to be able to work well under pressure. If their business flourishes, uh, they might be able to hire more people, maybe a cook and a waiter or a cleaner, uh, to make their jobs a little bit easier. In the photo, I can see two people who are in an office. In the foreground, there is a woman. Uh, she's sitting at a desk and behind her, there is a man. In the background, on the wall, I can see a clock. It's 10 to 11. Um, on the right, there is a white bookshelf. Um, the shelves look rather cluttered. There are some files, books and boxes. There's also a mirror and a globe. It's all random and it doesn't look very professional to me. Mm, there is no notice board in this office and there is also no calendar. Um, in the bottom right corner, I can see a notebook screen and a couple of pens. The woman, who, like I've said, is sitting in the foreground, is wearing a white blazer and a watch on her left hand and the man who is standing behind her is wearing a grey suit and a black tie. Neither of them looks very happy. Uh, I suppose that the man is the woman's boss and he's not satisfied with her performance. He's expressing his disappointment or anger and she's not pleased with that. It seems like she's covering her ears so as not to hear her employer anymore. Mm, the boss is pointing towards something with his left hand. Maybe he's showing her the door because he wants her to leave or he might want to fire her. I believe the woman is not exactly the best employee. Uh, she might have been slacking off. Um, also, judging by the mess on the shelves in her office, she's not well organised and she's probably not the most reliable colleague. All of which caused her boss to be upset with her. I presume he's thinking that her salary is too generous for what she actually does. So... I don't think she'll be getting a pay rise or a promotion anytime soon. I don't really like this photo because when I'm at work, I don't want to disappoint my colleagues or my boss. 
Um, I've never had a situation like that in my life. My boss has never been upset with me. And, uh, well, I hope it will stay this way. If you'd like to practice describing photos, visit my Etsy shop where you can get some exercises. Link in description. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!